Trust helps you move through discomfort and fear. But it's easier said than done, right? And when you look at the brain, there's this perpetual tension between fear and trust. And it's kind of like a chicken and the egg situation, which is that we need trust to move us through discomfort. And yet, when you look at the brain, we actually can't build trust if we're truly uncomfortable. So how do we, how do we deal with that? And the reason that, that that tension exists is because of the brain's instinct to survive. Because we're constantly scanning for threats. If we pick up on a threat, something happens to our brain that moves us to a different part of the brain where we can't build trust. So we have to learn to work with this. And this is where the uncertainty and discomfort of working across cultures starts to trip us up big time. And the, one of the big things that moves us out of the part of the brain where we can build trust is stress and threats. So threats. Back in Colombia, it was a Saturday morning, and I, again, was in a really posh neighborhood of Colombia, and I was waiting in line. I'd been waiting in line for about 30 minutes to get a stack of cash out of the bank to pay for my apartment for the next couple months. And, uh, you know, if you're in Colombia, you learn a lot of street savvy. So I was trying to be so street savvy, and I just, you know, put the chunk of cash in an envelope right at the counter, and I tucked it in the back of my backpack, and I put my shoulders back, and I walked out to hail a cab. Oh my gosh, I hate telling this story. <laughs> I walked out to hail a cab. I had one hand on the cab, and this woman comes running at me in a bank uniform, and she's shouting at me in Spanish in a total panic. And she's saying, you didn't, you're going to get in trouble. You didn't sign the right forms. And I'm like, que, que, no entiendo. And she's like, you have to sign the right forms. You have to go into this building. You have to give me the money, go into the building, and then you sign the right forms. You're going to get in a lot of trouble. You're gonna... And I was like, oh my god, OK, 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 OK. So I, I give her the money, and I run into the building, and I look left, and I write. And I look, and it's just a big cement staircase, and nothing, not even any doors. And <laughs> what do you think happened? I just got totally scammed, totally scammed. And I'm like, what? I just wasn't thinking. I got totally flustered, and I go out, and I try to look for the woman. I start running down one street, and I'm like, I, I don't even know where I'm going. It was completely ridiculous. And what happened then? What happened? <laughs> It took me a long time to figure this out. I was so flustered, so flustered by the stress of that moment that the rational part of my brain had left. It was completely gone, and I was in this primal, instinctual part of the brain. Have you ever had the experience of uh, maybe saying or doing something you don't mean to say or do when you're stressed or threat? Maybe said something you didn't mean to when you were angry? Please tell me. Someone has had that experience. Okay. OK, good. <laughs> uh, it took me a while to forgive myself for being such a sucker. But uh, learning about brain science helped me understand what happened in that moment. And learning about this can actually point us towards how we can start to build trust when we're uncomfortable. Because again, the example I gave was pretty extreme. But any sort of fear, any sort of being out of our comfort zone starts to bring us into a different part of the brain.